This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, the first trading week of the new year, all three of the major averages snapped a nine-week winning streak following a stronger-than-expected jobs report, with the Nasdaq suffering the biggest decline at 3.25%, its worst weekly performance since September. The S&P 500 fell 1.5%, while the Dow was only down six-tenths of 1%. Now, the U.S. economy added more, many more jobs than anticipated in December, non-farm payrolls growing by 216,000, above analyst estimates of 170,000 keeping the unemployment rate at 3.7%. The report sent Treasury yields higher, with the benchmark 10-year rate closing the week over 4%. A strong labor market could mean that the Federal Reserve might potentially delay the first of its rate cuts, which investors were hoping they would start cutting rates as early as March and lower them by as many as six times in 2024. Now, as we have observed for most of last year, When bond yields rise, in the short term, stock and bond prices fall. Now, the perma bears and the pessimists are already calling for the market's head and are predicting a down year for 2024. Of course, I disagree. Down years in the stock market tend to be associated with recession. And since a recession is unlikely now that the inflation rate continues to fall towards the Fed's target, and the Fed most likely will lower rates, making it doubtful, the market ends lower than where it began. Now, couple that with the twin tailwinds of a resilient economy, and it's the fourth year of the presidential cycle. The market should finish higher. Since 1925, stocks have risen 83% of presidential election years with an average return of 11%. Moreover, when stocks are negative in the president's second year, like they were in 2022, They have risen in the ensuing fourth year every single year with only one exception, and that was back in 1932 during the Great Depression. Now, the S&P 500 rose 26% last year, and since 1928, years with gains of over 20% were followed by gains of 5.9% on average. Now, as you know, I've quoted Sir John Templeton many times on this broadcast. He said bull markets are born on pessimism. They grow on skepticism mature on optimism, and die on euphoria. We just finished a year with a 26% return for the S&P, and I found over the holidays my conversations regarding the market in spite of the new high on the Dow was met with doubt and a heavy dose of skepticism. Remember, bull markets grow on skepticism, and I believe this young bull has room to go. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have over 75 years' experience of building tax exempt. Close base. Uh, shoo, shoo, sorry. Three, two, one. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have over 75 years of building tax efficient, gold based, low cost portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is pick up the phone or text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply give us a call at 844 844- Plan NYC. That's 844-P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. This is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management, wishing you and yours a happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year.